Welcome everyone, this is Asma Morgani, your friendly statistical analyst. Our lesson today in English language about two-stage list square in SPSS. We will apply on the data within the English samples in SPSS uh, folder cross cell. Uh, in fact, I received many, many requests to translate my lesson number 60 of two-stage list square in SPSS because this lesson in particular has no equivalent English version in any statistical YouTube channels. I'm sorry I'm too late, but I finally did. Actually, the main target or the main goal of my Arabic channel is to explain statistical analysis in Arabic language, not in English, because the statistical English lessons are available and on many great, wonderful uh, professional uh, channels. But the real shortage is in Arab channels. That's the main point. Okay, let's begin. We have some variables here. We will use the first three only and we can delete the others. We consider the first variable um, special offer as a target variable, as a dependent variable, and other variables as predictors. We use one for explanatory and the other for an instrumental. In this video, we will learn how to perform two stage list square from the menu down to regression, down to two stage list square. We put um, the target variable special offer as a dependent and we put book as explanatory and we put CD as uh, an instrumental. When explanatory variable correlated with error term, we use an instrumental variable to provide true effect rather than biased effects. Okay, then we save um, predicted value and residuals, then continue and okay. He tell us that we will he will create two variables for predicted and residual. Okay, then we got our result which consists of model summary table, um, multiple R, R square, adjusted R, standard error, ANOVA table, and coefficient table with beta coefficient for by book and constant. But we didn't get any information about CD variable. What happened? We will find out now when we run the second method. Um, we run the second method, which consists of two steps from Analyze, we uh, bo um, run um, OLS in two steps, down to regression, a linear, but but first let, let us open this window to uh, be more clear. Okay, then go to analyze, down to regression, down to linear. Okay, now we put this explanatory variable as a dependent variable and this instrumental variable cd purchase as a independent variable and save unstandardized predicted value then okay we don't change anything we have the same result of uh, any uh, regression output but we focus on this new variable uh, predicted variable which we will use in the second step down to regression down to linear and again but now we put the target variable special offer as a dependent and now we put this variable which we get uh, got from the first st step we put it as an independent variable then again we can save um, residual and predicted value okay here we go and we finish now by comparison this table coefficient with the first one we find that beta coefficient is the same for by book it was 0.403 and constant 116 it is the same result we got in final step 403 
and 116. This is exactly what happened in the first method. So um, if you want to run it again, but um, with a lot of variables, you can go the same example on uh, IBM uh, Knowledge Center. You can follow the steps and run it again with all variables in this example. Of course, I just applying on one variable as explanatory and one variable for instrumental to be more clear. Also, you can uh, go to uh, overview um, about uh, more detail for more details uh, about uh, two SLS, about command, about equations. And of course, in this lesson, we didn't discuss any assumption of analysis or any violation of the assumption. We just learned how to run two stage list square in SPSS by two different ways. I hope my lesson was useful. Thank you for watching. For any help, contact us via email.